for the longest time I was like what the hell is he trying to say cocoon 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 like is that like some kind of secret code some kind of What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Cardi the King, a.k.a. Young Cardi, and we are back with another banger for you today. You are now tuned into the Major Key Unlimited podcast. Now, as per usual, before we get into the show, uh, we want you to go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also go ahead and ring that notification bell up there. How else are you going to stay in tune with all of us and uh, go ahead and get them alerts? You know what I'm saying? How are you going to stay saucy with us? You know what I'm saying? You, you know the vibes over here. You know the vibes, you know what I'm saying, how you gonna say it too with us, so, and uh, another thing as per usual, we got the uh, Patreon and the Cash App down here, if you want to, like I said, it helps get the set bigger, helps get us on location. We're gonna get into another one of the bar for bar segments where we get into uh, breaking down some of the most iconic bars from some of the most iconic artists of all time. And as you can probably tell from the set with the Droga's Light right here and with the, the cover from like 0708, we're gonna get into covering Lupe Fiasco. And especially a song from Since It Just Turned 15, Food and Liquor, Kick Push. Holla at your boy. Let's get into the first verse, okay? First got it when he was six, didn't know any tricks. Matter of fact, first time he got on it, he slipped. Landed on his hip and busted his lip. For a week he had to talk with a lisp like this. We know what that means, you know what I mean? So, if you've ever been a kid, especially growing up in the 90s, I mean, man, you know, you wanted to be outside all the time. You had to beg us to come inside, you know what I mean? Kids nowadays, you, you have to beg them to go outside, but you had to beg us to come inside. And especially being a, a, um, in a certain area, you know what I mean? Just growing up around different cultural things, we wanted to stay outside. Anyway, long story short, we were outside on skateboards, um, trying different tricks. Even me growing up in the hood, and I grew up in, in a certain type of environment but I was just a different kind of kid so doing certain type of tricks you know what I'm saying you gonna bust your butt point blank period you you fall face first you fall on your lip your lip is all busted and swollen you talk with a lisp you walking around like this trying to talk you know what I'm saying so talk with a lisp like this you know what I mean? Now we get in the story right here, but shorty didn't stop, there was something in the air, yeah. He said it was something so appealing, he couldn't fight the feeling, something about it, he knew he couldn't doubt it, couldn't understand it, brand it, since the first kick flip, he landed. You know how that goes too, you know what I mean? Um, when you just find something that you love, you know what I mean? And then you just you just feel like you branded, like you just got bitten by this bug. You just been smitten with something that you love so much and you just want to keep on doing it and you go over and over and over. No matter how hard you fall, no matter how many times you get hit or bruised or scraped, you just want to keep on going, you know what I mean? No matter what it is, when you really love something and you truly into it, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? You, whether you're playing basketball, you might be outside from you know 11 a.m until 9 p.m you're gonna be out there hooping hooping no matter how tired you are especially like i said when you grew up in a certain generation a certain era like we did like so you're just gonna keep on going no matter what you know what i mean so um now this is the interesting part when he said um label the misfit a bandit cuckoo 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 his neighbors couldn't stand it for the longest time i was like what the hell is he trying to say cuckoo 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 like is that like some kind of secret code some kind of but then when i started thinking about it more time i'm like oh because the times when you're doing these kick flips and you're trying to do these tricks and you got your skateboard and it's continuously hitting the ground cuckoo 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 i know i was probably clipping right there part in that but anyway <laughs> when it goes cuckoo 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 and you just hitting the ground over and over and over you on the sidewalk you on the ground you on the driveway so cuckoo 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 his neighbors couldn't stand it they like yo here he goes outside again trying all of these tricks he gotta go they probably went over there talking to his parents like yo kid gotta go he he, he gotta get out the neighborhood with all this noise he needs somewhere to go he he needs to he gotta get out of here so that's why the next line he says he was banished to the park started in the morning wouldn't stop till after dark yeah when they said it's getting late in here so i'm sorry young man there's no skate in here and so they kick 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 
coast. So it's like, wherever you go, first you get kicked out of your neighborhood. So now they tell you to go to the park. So now you go to the park. Now you're getting kicked out of the park. It's like, damn, where can I go? Like anywhere that I go to, somebody's trying to kick me out. Where can I go? Where can I go? I can't go to the park. I can't go to the uh, to the skate park. Now you're kicking me out. You're telling me I got a curfew. I try to skate in my own neighborhood, be with my own people and be in a safe environment. Y'all telling me get to uh, get out of here. It's like, I got nowhere to go. Like, how? Where? Where do, where do I go? How do I feel safe? What do I do? So being a part of the skate community, man, I'm trying to tell you, yo, it sucks. Especially back then when it wasn't that many skate parks around and you didn't have many places to go. And they act like it was just the most illegal thing. Like you would just, you would have thought that you was the pusher man or something. You know what I'm saying? And I know that's showing my age by saying pusher man. But you would have thought you was a dope dealer or something just by skateboarding. And I'm like, bro, I'm just trying to hit these freaking kickflips and values. Like you said, like. What am I doing? Like, come on, man. So, yeah, for, that's the first verse. So that's what that means. Second verse, all right? Yeah. My man got a little older, became a better roller. Yeah, no helmet. Hell been on killing himself is what his mama said. So your mom's always, you know, you got to think, this is a younger kid, so your mom's is always looking out for you. She's like, yo, put on a helmet. You know what I'm saying? First of all, she don't want you to get hurt. Second of all, Mom Dukes ain't trying to see no kind of bodies, hospital bills. You dig what I'm saying? She ain't trying to take nobody to the hospital. She ain't trying to pay no bills, especially being on the um in the inner city, rather. That's just gonna be a dummy bill. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's gonna be stupid high, um, just for breaking an arm, breaking a leg, anything like that, a concussion, whatever. So put on the helmet. But he was feeling himself Got a little more swagger in his style Met his girlfriend, she was clapping in the crowd We all been there before where you got your girl She's standing on the side, right? So you see her and she she clapping and she looking at you So you like, alright, shorty over there I'm gonna try to pull off a trick that I never pulled off before And it's like Come on, Duke. You know you ain't never pulled this trick off before, and it's the same way, and I keep relating it to basketball, but you know how when a shorty out there at the court, and you be trying to, you're going all through your legs now, you're going all behind your back, you're doing all kind of passes you ain't never done before. It's like, yo, now you done turned into hot sauce, you done turned into Allen Robinson now. So now all of a sudden, your shorty over there, she clapping, now you part of Birdhouse or whatever. Now you over here, and you freaking Tony Hawk. Come on, man. You was just learning how to grind on the sidewalk, not even at the skate park. <laughs> but now all of a sudden, you pull it off crazy tricks or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, Shorty was clapping in the crowd. So, yeah, we, you know, we know what that means, you know. So love is what was happening to him now. So you falling for Shorty. This is what's going on, you know. So he said, I would marry you, but I'm engaged to these arrows and values. And, you know, so... um it's like, look, I, I would be fully committed on to you, but I'm kind of committed to my craft right now. You trying to dedicate? I'm trying to dedicate myself all to you. Uh, I mean, well, rather, I can't dedicate myself all to you. I'm trying to dedicate myself all to the craft. But Shorty came correct. She was like, look, you know what I mean? Um, when he said, I don't think this board is strong enough to carry two, she was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, I weigh 120 pounds, so it can carry both of us, but let me make this clear to you. I don't need to ride yours. I got mine right here. She like, why you worrying about me thinking I need to be with you? I got my own thing going on, shorty. So, whoa. She like, yo, take a step back for a second. I got I got my own joint going on. Don't don't even worry about me. Matter of fact, I'm going to take you to a spot that you probably ain't never even seen before. So, and she said, I don't normally take dates in here. You know, and security came in and said, there's no skating here. So, she ended up flipping the script on him like, yo, I'm going to take you to somewhere especially while you sitting here thinking that you're tricking off on me. I'm going to show you a little bit of something. So, yeah, that's where, that's where they at with it. You know what I'm saying? So she flipped the script on him and was like, yo, I'm about my B.I. over here. You know what I mean? Don't, don't think that I'm just some kind of a pretty face out here just clapping it up for you. I got my own, got my own tricks up my sleeve. You know what I mean? So shorty was type ill with it. All right, y'all, last verse, so here we go. Before they knew we had a crew that wasn't no punk, and they spit five shirts and SP dunks. So, yo, first of all, I got a collection of SP dunks. Them joints starting to come back, like, 
people starting to make them popular again and i'm hating it because first of all the freaking migos freaking offset got them back popping again and i'm like it's people coming out of the woodworks who ain't never heard of no sb dunks don't even know what sb stand for and i'm like come on man i used to go to the store buy sbs for like on a low on a low for real for real for like 70 dollars now i can't get a good pair of sbs other than like 150 something like that and that's on a low end real talk but i got my collection yo first of all don't tell nobody come here i still got my tan pair with ostrich skin on them joints ain't nobody gonna find them joints and i've been having them i've been having them since like 2010 they're 11 years old anyway that's neither here nor there before we knew we had a crew there was no punk and they spitfire shirts and sb dunks and if you know spitfire you know that's some real 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 um street skateboard joints right there so you got your whole crew behind you now y'all all out there you skating doing your thing you know what i mean they would push till they couldn't skate no more office building lobbies wasn't safe no more so we can't go to the park we can't be in our own neighborhoods so guess what all of these office buildings they lobbies they got freaking um concrete benches they got all kinds of nice little sidewalks and stairs it's the perfect place for a skater to try out all of the new tricks that we want to try out all of the new grinds and i'm gonna tell you a nice little secret too this is another secret come here come here stop watch here comes another gem whenever you're trying to get a nice good grind and um you getting stuck on your grind on a, on a on a concrete joint like on a on a concrete bench have a potato i know it's not funny take a potato cut that joint in half rub that concrete bench with the potato and then go back jump and grind that joint the potato slicks it out for you i'm telling you the truth i do this i do this i i i ch is no chuck i do this anyway and it wasn't like they was getting chased no more just the freedom was better than breathing they said so it didn't matter if they wasn't you know they were still getting chased by the uh by the security the office lobby security but it's like yo when you had a thrill of something that you love and you just doing it and you doing it on a regular it don't matter if somebody chasing you you're gonna do it and you're gonna keep on continue to do it you know what i mean so an escape route they used to escape out when things got crazy they needed to break out they had to any place for stairs any good grinds the world was theirs and just like i said you know when you see all of these office building lobbies and you getting kicked out everywhere else the whole world because we full of office building lobbies right you in a city so it feels like the whole world is your skate park now so everything is yours everything is ours everything that you see your imagination turns into the world's biggest skate park so you just go for it you, you just kirk out in your mind you know what i mean until um until the cops came and said there's no skate in here so again and then we kick push kick push coast you know what i mean so that's a little bit fiasco kick push man the overall arching story about kick push what i take away from it is you know you start off he's uh your kid you in your own neighborhood you skating you're doing something you love you getting kicked out of your neighborhood your freaking neighbors don't like the noise of your skateboard they boot you to the park you go to the park there's really no major parks or anything to skate you got time constraints on you. You get kicked out of the park. You like, damn, where can I go? Now you go to the building lobbies. You get kicked out of the office building lobbies and everything. So now, where else? So you getting kicked out from place to place to place. Soon as you find a community, you still getting kicked out. Now the deeper meaning on top of all of this is, especially as a black kid coming from the inner city, when you're trying to do something different, you're not black enough for the black kids, you're not white enough you know for the white kids you you too white for the black kids too black for the white kids you feel what i'm saying so you skateboard <laughs> and you kind of get banished away from your own community so while you're trying to find a sense of community and finding your own purpose you get kicked away from your own community you know what i mean so all skin folk ain't your kinfolk 
you know what I mean? So it's kind of uh, two layered meanings within the song. So that's Kick Push. I hope y'all like it. You know what I mean? So stay tuned. I got a uh, actual surprise with this one. It's going to be a, l- a little something that I got coming for y'all again, uh, kind of relating to this one. So again, you've been tuning into the Major Key Unlimited Podcast. This is your boy, Cardi the King, a.k.a. Young Cardi. And uh, again, we got we got the uh, we got the Patreon down here. We got the Cash App down here. So you don't have to, but if you choose to donate, go ahead and do that. But make sure this is what you do need to do: like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Because, like I said, you know the vibes out here. Holla at your boy. Peace. Hey.